The Lord be with you. Yes, A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, o Lord. And this is the testimony of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, "Who are you?" He confessed. He did not deny, but confessed, "I am not the Christ." And they asked him, "What then? Are you Elijah?" He said, "I am not." Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. They said to him, Then, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Then why are you baptizing? If you are neither the Christ nor Elijah nor the prophet, John answered them, "I baptize with water, but among you stands one whom you do not know, even he who comes after me, the thong of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie." This took place in Bethany, beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear sisters, we are in the Christmas season. The readings are from Saint John, both the Epistle and also the Gospel today. We have a beautiful passage from the first reading. We are told at the beginning of the year to abide in the Lord. Saint John pleads, little children. Abide in Him. Maybe the Lord is telling us we may be doing so many things. We may be busy bodies, studying, working, but the basis is abiding in the Lord, remaining in the Lord. And what will be the fruit of this abiding? Saint John says, when He appears, we may have confidence. And not shrink from him in shame at his coming. Ultimately, we are people who are heaven bound. We need not feel ashamed if, during our lifetime, we abide in the Lord. We are conscious of the presence of the Lord every day. The Lord is with me. The Lord is in me. I am in Him. And then it also says. Every one who does right is born of Him. We are to abide in Him. Consequences: We will do only right. Like Saint Francis of Assisi, we have to ask ourselves frequently, Lord, what do You want me to do today? What do You want me to do tomorrow? What do You want me to do now? Doing right and abiding in Him. And then Saint John also says, You have received anointing. Yes. We all have received anointing at baptism, at confirmation, anointing of the Holy Spirit. In my case, at the time of the ordination. In your case, though it is not a sacrament, when you made your profession of the evangelical councils, that is the anointing. That is enough for you. Think of it and continue to abide in Him. The beautiful text of uh, the passage today from the first letter of Saint John. Let us take it very seriously for our life. As if during the Advent season, the readings on John the Baptist are not enough, we continue to reflect on him even during the Christmas again. So many passages on John the Baptist, uh, right from the first week of Advent. And during the weekdays, also again and again about John the Baptist. Now, today also, John the Baptist passage. This was already read during the Advent also. Now, one thing that strikes is the humility of John the Baptist and the lack of jealousy of John the Baptist. So maybe I believe that the Lord is telling us at the beginning of the year: Do not be jealous of anyone. Be humble. See. How he is confessing that he is not the Christ. Many people thought him to be the Christ. Sometimes we want to claim 
more than what is our real deal. We want to put up a show and then get the credit. This man is considered Christ, but he wants to be truthful, genuine, and he says, I am not the Christ. They asked him, are you Elijah? He said, I am not Elijah. Later on, Jesus himself will say that John the Baptist is Elijah because of his austerity, because of his boldness, because of his commitment. But John the Baptist himself says, I am not the Elijah. He could have said at least I am the Elijah. Then the third question, they, they ask, are you a prophet? He says, I am not the prophet. I am not even a prophet. There is no one greater than John the Baptist of all people born of him and Jesus says, he is a great prophet, but then he says, I am not even a prophet. Then who are you? Then he says, I am only a voice crying in the wilderness. Simplicity, humility, simplicity, humility. That is John the Baptist. And then they are asking him, if you are not the Christ, if you are not the Elijah, if you are not the prophet, then why are you baptizing? Baptism of repentance I give. Baptism of the Holy Spirit Jesus is going to give. You know somebody among you is there whom you do not recognize. I am unworthy to kneel and untie the thong of his sandal. That is my status. Later on he will say, The bride belongs to the bridegroom. Let him increase. Let me decrease. That takes me to today's saints. St. Basil and St. Gregory Nassiansen, both of them, very close friends. Today for our spiritual reading, what is given is St. Gregory Nassiansen said something. He says, both of us were competing with each other to know more about the Lord, but there was no jealousy. Each of us rejoiced in the other's achievements. When my friend achieved something, I considered as though it is my achievement. How beautiful it will be if it is there in among the clergy, among the religious, among the sisters of the congregation. When somebody achieved, it is my achievement, rejoicing. Sometimes people cut a sorry face when other people are appreciated or achieve something. That is not Christian virtue. Learning from John the Baptist and to the extent St. Gregory Nassiansen says, it is as though one soul animating two bodies we were so close friends, friends in the Lord and for the Lord, one soul animating two bodies, he says. One soul animating all the sisters of St. Anne. That should be our wish for the universal reconciliation in Christ. Rejoicing in other people's success. Another sister gets good marks. Another sister gets good results in the college or in the school. Rejoice as though you have achieved that. That is the attitude of John the Baptist. What a beautiful lesson we have, my dear sisters, today. To abide in the Lord, to do always right, to realize our anointing, to be simple, to be humble, to know any more jealousy, always rejoicing in each other's achievements, like John the Baptist, like St. Gregory Nassiansen and Basil. May the word of be the light to our path, our pilgrimage of faith. Amen.